You thought when you finished university, you said goodbye to presentations forever. But now, as an architect, a designer, you are standing up in front of a group of strangers at least a couple of times a month, whether it's presenting a project, ideas to a client, giving updates to a board, presenting at a conference, trying to win over a council. The truth is, if you are trying to get someone to buy into the idea of a space, you need to show that space and get them excited about it. A good presentation could get your project approved or quickly dismissed if you don't plan it right. What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will cover presentation skills, tips and techniques of one project in different four styles or four formats, different formats. This is a very interesting project which we made two videos about. I, rec I highly recommend you guys to check them out, how we started it and how we got here. I'll leave the links on the description. This project is a sustainable design, if you remember. It's an eco house, which I designed um, using uh, principles of lean, sustainability, and so on. So now it's time to present it, uh, like our presentation formats from the beginning to the end. So we are handing over. So this is how I created my project to the end. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one, we were using ArchiCAD presentation. So basically the project we modeled with ArchiCAD, now we had to, let's say, present it with ArchiCAD format. Like we had to extract a few documentations. You know, ArchiCAD has this powerful documentation uh, thing. So we enhanced our presentation with three documentations, annotated the models and appearances, we, could, we played around with uh, sections, we played around with, we extracted uh, quite a lot of drawings from this uh, sheet from Akihad, uh, you know, and then we tried to make an, a book, a book like which uh, exaggerated the special depth of our design, like our, we had our plans, sections, elevations, and then the three documentations just to enhance uh, the presentation more like to make the client understand easy the graphics and then you know just a solid foundation of the presentation the perspectives there to be there and just put them in a in a nice presentation maybe here it's just a a nice um what you call this a publisher set publisher set uh, which you could uh play around and edit and place those drawings just to organize your presentation. This was our number one, uh, ArchiCAD, 2D documentations in ArchiCAD. We extracted them here in ArchiCAD. We made an ebook and then a, a sheet, a A1 sheet. With such information, a client can get a, a glimpse of what the project is all about. Like we extracted the floor plans, three documents, schedules, sections, and elevations. So just to deliver value, a kid can um, do better. You could enhance your presentation with a kid, but if you are not uh, confident enough, you could use uh, our number two. Our number two software is uh, the BMX a presentation style as BMX. So what you do, you export hyper models from ArchiCAD to uh, BMX. This is again is a game changer, visually appealing documents, and the, the client would have a uh, walk, walk, walk over of the, the project of what's coming. So he'd understand or she would understand better your project because she had the chance to Walk around, walk around the project using the BMX. Uh, it's sort of interactive, uh, 3D immersive visualization. 
uh, like uh, you walk through the document, you write your document. So it's, it's another game changer to enhance your project. Yes, uh, that's our number two. We have, again, a tutorial about how to publish Hyperbeam models. Uh, check out the link in the description. I think we have uh, covered in depth there how to use BMAX. This is just me showing you like we incorporate BMAX in our daily lifestyle in our studio. We make sure our models pass through BMAX. So which the philosophy behind is to model well for you to extract, to export your model to BMAX. All right, on our number three is uh, uh, renders and animations, real-time immersive visualization. What we do is we take our model from Archicad to Lumion, as you have already seen or familiar with. We take our models to Lumion without fail to enhance our presentations and to make our clients understand the design. They can walk through the, the, the presentations, the models via Lumion. Uh, so that's basically it by high quality images, visualizations, and animated videos in minutes. Lumion can do that. And Lumion is easy to use. You know, it enables you to deliver a wow factor to your clients. Every time you meet a client, you have an updated portfolio of the renders to show them. Rendering is fast with Lumion and, you know, play around with Lumion. It's easy, it's easy to use. We have a course again, if you're a beginner to Lumion, uh, we have a course in the description where you could, uh, you know, hone your skills. So check it out and bring your designs to life. It's fast, intuitive, and enjoyable, you know. Why not show them this 3Ds? So yeah, that's basically it. Still, still in Lumion, you could uh, go ahead and go further and render 360s, uh, which you'll be able to share with your client. If at all they have the panorama, panorama apps to view the panorama, the 360s, and as well as the BMAXs and you know, those things. It's a digital era, so it's a uh, the pandemic era, so we are forced to go digital. This is why this video is made. Like it's for you guys to see how you could tap into this uh, digital transition, you know. So in our final, uh, our number four, is it number four? Yes, because uh, now we made 360s, we could make virtual tours out of this 360s. It's just a 360 degree immersive media production like for, for presentations. This is the next uh, frontier, you know, virtual tours. These are interactive tours, amazing and awesome 360 content embedded together and forwarded to clients to walk around the client, to talk around the design and, you know, embedded with external content. The tours can be embedded with uh, content that you want to present, but within the 360, you can embed other content, your floor plan sections, uh, schedules, um, specifications, and anything that you'd want to show. So this interactive, interactive tours, uh, I, you know, are tied with hotspots, hotspots that will guide uh, the client where to move, you know, where the client were to go like this. It's an interactive because it's guided. It's a guided walkover. So you'd want to show what you want the clients to see. So using powerful hotspots, you know, the, the, client, the client would just uh, click anything that she, he wants to discover, to know in the scene, and she'll be integrated. Everything will be indica ind indicated. <laughs> Yes, um, virtual tours. I think this is the new frontier 
uh, this is the you know new frontier new presentation frontier due to this covid pandemics and you know this pursuit to the digital transition so i think this will be the good start for architects a transition from 2d documents to virtual tours yes i think i've covered enough uh, from architect to virtual tours one project we passed through two documents 2d to documents from architect and then we walked through our building via bmx and then we rendered and animated our building via lumion and then produced 360s in lumion to virtual tours that's one project four different presentation styles that was our workflow guys and i hope you enjoyed the presentation package deliver value to your clients more value more when when more clients <laughs> when more clients guys using this this will help you deliver more value i think um you you got some tip you know tech tip and trick that you could use to enhance your presentation styles and transition from print to the digital world uh, you know i think i gave you insights um if you like this video please um like it like and share if you are new here subscribe we post videos like this every week and thank you for the feedback we've been getting in our channel guys uh very helpful it gives us the motivation to continue and like all i say stay creative um consume this content explore stay creative uh yeah check out our resources uh, for which can help you i think uh, if you want to hone your skills uh, this is the right platform thank you guys bye for now